Hey guys, it's August here, and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We've been to the deepest forests, the coldest temples, the hottest deserts, the darkest swamps, high up in the mountains. It's been quite a journey. But it's time to bring it to a close. Today we shall take on the final boss. I'm fully prepared. Except no arrows, sadly. I have no idea where to buy arrows from, so... <laughs> but we'll be going to Ganon's Tower, which is high up in the mountains. Quickest way is just taking the teleport on Turtle Rock. I think 32 arrows should be enough, though. I think we only need about maybe... Uh, 10 or so, so we should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> They'll probably give you restocks anyway inside. Oh, I freaking hate those guys over here too. I don't know what they are. They're like sort of like mandacles or something. They fire lasers at you, so watch out. Pretty tough. Unfortunately, not for the golden sword. <laughs> but here we are, guys. This is Ganon's Tower. August, we're gonna break the barrier on Ganon's Tower with our power. Thank you, girls. I'll leave it to you. And the way has been opened. Let's do this. I'm coming for you, Ganon. This is level 8, Ganon's Tower. So this is the last dungeon of the game. Unfortunately, I can't remember much about this place, so we'll have to see. But so far it looks kind of like a replica of the Manon Tower. Which is both good and bad, I suppose. Get rid of you guys. Hopefully there's no, like, um... More dorms in here. <laughs> Try and screw me up. Oh, look at all these chests. Arrows, thank you, I need those. And bumps too. Now, should I pull this switch? I have a bad feeling about this, guys. That everything is going to get messed up in a second. But why not? I should mention as well that this new sword of ours can actually break pot, so it's pretty cool. Screw it, let's pull it. Enemies. Bombs, uh, I knew it would be something like that. You can't fool me, game. Although you kind of did. <laughs> okay, let's get our Canis Mario out. Put a block down. And the way has been opened. I can't remember much about this pace, place at all. But this part looks like a... Dodging part. And I guess after we finish dodging them all, we get the key. And there's War Masters too. Everything is going wrong. <laughs> Luckily, I have plenty of blue potions. Oh, come on, Link, we can do this. Dodge of the damn floor tiles. <laughs> Protect me, mir mirror shield. If only, right? Honestly, I think the wall master is more of a threat right now. But we must do we've almost dodged them all. We can do this, Link, we can do this. Yes! Where's my key? There it is, cool. Let's head through. What's in the next room? Oh, man. Oh, not zombies. Get out of here. Oh, they're fairly easy. Thanks to the golden um, sword, I guess. Okay, so I guess in here we have to light all the um, torches to open the way. What's in here then? Huh. We have some fire bars. Oh, I guess it's like a resupply room or something. Oh, no! Friggin' War Masters! Ah, at least the way isn't too hard to get back. What's over here then? Or does this come down in the um, spike room with a switch? It does, there you go. Okay, then first of all, let's ch check what's over here. Because it looks like the right way is the right way to go. Okay, get back here, bone man. <laughs> That's the best offensive thing I can come up with. <laughs> Accursed bone man. How do you open the door there then, huh? Unless you're going through from the other side. That's probably it too. Oh, a key. Well, so far it looks like you can go either way, huh? Let's knock down these whack-a-moles. See if you can push the switch in the middle. Uh, yep, there we go. It opens the way too. Awesome. This looks like some um, hookshot action. I have to say, so far, I'm really, really um, pleased with how the dungeon looks. Like, it looks like you have to use every item you have, which is awesome. I love that in a Zelda game. Let's go up first. See what's up here. Anything good? A couple of chests, not bad. More arrows. Oh, rupees, cool. I don't really need those. And I especially don't need bombs, I'm full on those already. But I'll take the rupees nonetheless. 
And I'm already taking a bit of damage here, huh? Makes sense, I suppose, we are in the final dungeon of the game. You'd expect everything to be super difficult. Now, how to do this thing, huh? Over here, maybe? Yep, looks like it. And we can grab onto the pods. Awesome, there we go. Now, is there anything down here? There is. Which way to go, guys? Huh, I have a key? I do have a key, so... I could go to the right, or should I go down first? Huh, so many different passageways. So little time. Whoa! Hi there, fire bars. Uh, no, no, no. Ooh, that was close there. <laughs> awesome, there's the map. Good, we can have a better look at this place. Tank the damage! <laughs> Okay, so where are we right now? Okay, so the ground floor is apparently massive as. The rest of the tower seems fairly simple though. Okay, so I suppose we'll just keep on going around. Checking out these rooms, see what we can see. Okay, so let us guess. Uh, let's do it the easy way. <laughs> just put a bomb down here. And blow up in the way. There we go. Another key door. Do I have a key? Is there a key in here? There sure is. Luckily, the key seems fairly easy to get to. Another bomb. Huh, I guess we have to blow this up in a certain position, like there maybe? Is that close enough? It is, cool. Okay, let's move on. Whoa! Okay, this room doesn't look too friendly. <laughs> but I have to get to that portal over there. Okay, let's see if we can do this. This will require all my expert skills. <laughs> okay, well we got there after taking one damage. It's not too bad. I've been playing a bit of um VVV VVV lately, so my skills are dodging um spikes. It's awesome. <laughs> How do we get across here, though? Huh? Man, dungeon's full of surprises. Is there a block you can push? I should hope so, because those fire bars are coming back. Ooh, man, I better heal. I have a fairy, but I used it, you know, I brought it just in case I die by accident, so I'd rather save that for the final boss. How do we get across here, huh? Oh, there we go. Now we can hook shot to the treasure chest. I see. Cool. Now we have a nice little hiding spot. Awesome. Another key? Not bad. And now we have a warping puzzle. Fantastic. Can you blow this up or is it just for decoration? Oh, we can blow it up. Cool. Is this way to go? Oh my god, those things are back. One of these switches must do something. Maybe? Oh yeah! Look at all this loot. Thanks, Ganon. I appreciate it. <laughs> full bombs and full arrows. Awesome. Okay, which portal here? I'm going to go to the right one. And now... Ah, uh, so many portals. So little time. Over here, maybe? Uh, is this the right way? Well, not, not over there, at least. I am so confused right now. Okay, that's not the right way. What about over here? Sneaky past the switches. Okay, cool. This looks good. And there's the door. We have to do a little um, trick here, I guess. And up. Not bad. Okay, we made it. Awesome. Just wait a second, guys. I want to see if there's anything in this chest um, here. Okay, now. Just some more supplies. I can see them hiding a key there. I like the sneaks that they are. Okay, this room seems fairly dangerous. <laughs> and I guess you have to use the um, Ether Medallion here. To show a hidden path. Yeah, there you go, cool. Oh, apparently the Earth Medallion freezes the guys too, huh? I never actually knew that. Unfortunately, I have no um green potions on me, just my blue potions. Ah, damn it. So hopefully I don't get too stuck. I can always like push one of the blocks that the um, Kane Samaria does. <laughs> push that around. 
That'll show the way. What's up there then, huh? That leads to a room we've been to? Oh no, we haven't been there yet. Okay, we might as well check it out. Hopefully it isn't dead end. Ah, it's the big chest. Unfortunately, we don't have the big key yet. The dungeon item in this dungeon is very, very helpful. Okay, so where is this hidden path again? So down from here, and then... Down, okay. Luckily, I have the, um... Magic power upgrade. That's definitely coming in handy here. It was up, I think. Yo, watch out for this guy. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> A little bit over. Oh, yeah, I'm really right on the edge right now. And there we go. Unfortunately, I can't light the torch. Hopefully, that, that isn't necessary. <laughs> but I have a feeling it is. Oh, can I have some more magic power game? Not arrows, magic power, please. I keep thinking I can just, like, smash the pots. Ah, damn bubbles. Or whatever they are. Let's see if we can block the floor here. This stuff, stop following me, man. These guys are relentless. Oh, you can fall through the floor. Cool. Oh my god, it's the Armos Knights. Unfortunately, I have my silver bow and arrows. It takes out one time. Awesome. One shot, one kill. Hopefully this is not like a boss endurance thing. No, get away from me, damn Armos Knight. Eat my golden sword. Oh wow, even, the, even with the golden sword, this guy's not going down. Well, there we go. Okay, where are we now? On the bottom floor? I don't really want to go anywhere in case I die, but, um... <laughs> or, if, or I have to fight more bosses, that's the thing. Let's go up here, then. What's in the secret room? Anything good? There is? Ah, oh, fairies. Awesome, I need those, too. Now I kind of wish I used my fairy from earlier. Ah, <laughs> uh, get over here. Get over here. Ah, uh, one more, one more. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, I can't leave you alone like this, fairy. Well, I might if you can't get over here. Ah, screw it, screw it. <laughs> okay, which way to go? Oh, we can't go back. Oh, man. Hopefully I can screw myself up then. I may need to go back to that room and see what's in the um, Northway passage. Huh. Alright guys, I think I may just go back and check that out. I'll see you back there in a moment. Alright guys, so I am back. Unfortunately, I had to fight the um, Armless Knights again, but they weren't too tough. Oh, the big key. Awesome. Now we can get the dungeon on him. And some more supplies too. And I think we are pretty much done in the um, basement of the tower. I'm pretty sure the only goal is to get the big key so you can get the dungeon item and move on to the main tower. So yeah, let us head up. And that damn slippery floor, always messing me up. And here we go guys, the dungeon item, which is... The red mail. This provides even better protection than the blue mail. Cool. I believe the red mail halves the damage you take, while the blue mail reduces it by a quarter. So, it's definitely an improvement. I'll definitely... Need that for the boss. And it's time to head up the tower. As you can see, it's quite a tall tower, so we have quite a bit left to do. I didn't realize how long this would take. I think I was up to about 15 minutes or so. But I may just play through this to the end. Uh, where's the door? Oh, there it is. But it's not open. Let me guess, I had to push one of these blocks here. Yep, there we go. Okay. And stop using the damn bow. I need that for the boss. <laughs> Use the boomerang instead. That's why I have it here. I swear this is like the end of Zelda game where I actually use the boomerang on a regular basis. Maybe, um, Wind Waker, but still. Although the Wind Waker boomerang is pretty damn helpful. Especially because you can target multiple foes. Is there anything down here? 
I guess not, huh? Oh well. Kind of a weird setup. I wonder why you need this too. Unless you just use it to block up the um, spikes, but... That seems a bit strange. Now we have Beamos and these guys, whoever they are. Ah, uh, Run! Okay. Let's try and trick this guy. Did that work? No, it didn't. <laughs> these guys are seriously the worst to deal with. I freaking hate them. And Beamos too, man. Okay, that worked. We got him. And that is the uh, second floor done. Oh, wait, no, we're not done just yet. Almost, though. Do I want to hit that switch? I have a bad feeling about this, guys. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, wow. Oh, these guys are back, too. Man. Ganon has, like, everything in his tower. <laughs> yeah, I was right. That was a very, very bad idea. Do not press that switch until you need to. Man. Oh, these cannonball things are back, too, huh? And they're as easy as ever. <laughs> How do we get down there, huh? Do I have to, um, use the hook shot? Is it like a secret passageway or something? I have to use the, um, ether to see? I guess not, huh? What's down there? It's probably like a resupply room or something, which I don't really need, but it would still be handy. And one thing I was wondering, guys, are those horse enemies that just fought there the uh, Dark Nuts of the game? Because I, I don't remember seeing like any enemy that, you know, lo would look like a Dark Nut, so yeah. If you guys know, then let me know in the comments. Because like every Zelda game is a Dark Nut. Although if those horse guys are the Dark Nuts, then they are very, very easy. Luckily, they're not like the um, Zelda 2 Dark Nuts. Which I have never fought myself because I never played Zelda 2, but yeah. I can see the pain that they cause a lot of people. I remember watching NCS's playthrough of that game. That game actually looks fairly difficult. Death to all the horsies. Man, they're like everywhere now. I'm starting to think that maybe they are the Dark Knights of the game. Luckily these last few rooms just seem to be, you know, kill everyone and get to move on. Which works out well for me. Especially because like Golden Sword makes everything really easy. Hey, get over here, damn. Dancing bone guy. Die! Die! No! Stop hiding in the corner, man! Those guys are relentless. Well, that was the most <laughs> difficult puzzle of all. <laughs> oh my god, it's the, um, Land Mola guys, whatever they're called. Eat my golden sword! It should make easy work of these guys. Maybe. Yep, there you go, like two hits or so. And one final one. They were honestly more trouble than the, um, I mean, they were honestly less trouble than the Armless Knights. Wait a second. Then this means I have to fight, oh my god, my arch nemesis. Please, game, don't be that cruel, please. Oh. Okay, I can't walk on the floor. <laughs> and whiz robes are here. These are, these guys look especially evil, man. Yeah, yeah, here we're gonna appear. Let's use our bow for these guys. Take them out quickly. And I'm guessing we have to walk around this side to get to the end. Nope. Huh. Well, well, let's just use our ether medallion here, just to save a bit of time. Ah, it was close. But there we go. So we are now on floor four, I think. Yeah, we're getting close to the top of the tower. Vegas boots go! Avoid all the evil eyes. And now whiz robes on... Um, <laughs> what are these called? What are these called? My god, I can't even think of the name. Whiz robes on moving floors. That's good enough for me. Why can't I think of what they're called? Oh my god, like propel... No, not propellers. Ah, who cares? Who cares? Let's just keep going. <laughs> huh, I guess light all the torches to move on. Looks like it, but I don't have any magic power. Uh, can I have some more magic power game? I don't know if that will be enough. Especially because these torches may run out really quickly. 
Oh, come on. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's get our uh, lamp out, I think. Lamp. Lamp. <laughs> okay, two. No, uh, damn fire. Hopefully the other one's still on. Let's see. It is. Cool. And there we go. Awesome. Oh, but it runs out and the door closes. Come on. Uh, fire rod. Run, August. Oh, we barely made that. Awesome. And we're almost out of hearts, too. Fantastic. I still have my two fairies, so I think I will not use any potions, but still. I have to watch out for my health here. This does not look good. This is just leading up to a Mulgara, isn't it? Mulgara? <laughs> Moldor, man. Let's try this again. So the right pod this time. You and... Uh, yeah, he's gonna hit me. It was bound to happen. Yes, bring me back, fairy. I can't die just yet. I still have to save the world. Well, this is a friendly room. Now, where's the key? I'm gonna guess it's, like, in one of the pots here. Not the treasure chest. I'll decide to kill the guys to get it. Die. Oh, yeah, there you go. Simple as. I feel like your puzzle is getting a little bit easier towards the end, Ganon. This room reminds me of the room in, um, the Skull Wars, actually. Where the big key is, huh? And down here is where it went to. Kinda cool. Okay, let's get this. Another fairly easy puzzle, man. Are you running out of ideas, Ganon? <laughs> oh my god. This can't be happening. Ah! Protect me, guys. Protect me, Golden Sword, from the evilness. Oh. Well, that was fairly easy. <laughs> I guess I overreacted for nothing. <laughs> Is this the way to go? How do we leave this place, huh? Oh, there's a chest down there. Awesome. I wonder what the purpose of this room up here is then, huh? Unless you fall down here from somewhere else. Oh, whatever. 20 rupees gained, 20 rupees. Is that all I get for beating my arch nemesis? Well, screw you too. We must be so close to the top of the tower now. This looks so freaking ominous. Hey, very cool, I'll take that. No, I was gonna put it in my bottle. Oh well. I could use the heal up anyway. Floor 6. Is this the top? It is, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you ready for this? 